as though we are well within shot now. Okay. All right. So a couple weeks ago, uh, I posted up a video from a couple months ago about uh, of some free play, and uh, Brian was uh, in that video, and this is basically a video on um, some of the uh, things to do to help him improve based on what we saw from the video. So one of the main things that I saw was uh, he would get into scenarios where, well, you would get into scenarios where your uh, your strong would be, or the opponent's weak would be on your strong, and you'd have a significant advantage, but uh, you weren't able to successfully uh, seize the initiative and attack from there. So we're just gonna work a little bit on a drill that um, helps deal with that. So kind of the first major one that we saw is when you're doing this, uh, just make sure you keep your knees bent and don't move around too much like this because uh, it starts to, you generate a lot more tells that way. So one of the main uh, scenarios that I noticed was uh, Doug would do something when he cut up like this, right? And then you would end up cutting down into it one way or another. And it would end up like this, but your tool would end up pointing off out of the way, and then you would just do something like this. So, in this kind of a scenario, um, I'll just uh, demonstrate it first. So, if you cut upwards, right? So, and I end up like this, what I want to do is I can either trap like this, or I can turn my sword like this. But what I want to do is, is thrust as quickly as possible. Because when you're strong, or when your strong is on the opponent's weak, it's an advantage in one sense, but it's also, if you don't seize the opportunity, it turns into a disadvantage. So like in a scenario where, say, um, I, I get my strong, right, or sorry, if, if I'm doing what you're doing, right, uh, or if we just, if you just cut forward, right, and I end up like this, right, from this place, you can do a Mutirin, right, uh, you, you actually mind the opposite. So from here, Right? Or uh, like this. So, so stay in the mind. Right? So from here, it's like this. More or less. Right? Or if you put a little bit of pressure downwards, uh, like, downwards yeah, like this, it goes like this. Right? So you keep your uh, long edge against their blade and you rotate into a lower hanging, which is like Fulin, or not Fulin, it's like a flute, a flute but um, uh, it's not at your hip, it's extended forth, that's the main difference. So like if we're on the other side, right, and I go like this, right, so from here actually what I have to do, so if you're, if you're pressing down, right, it's, it's a little bit awkward with uh, doing your left hand, right, so I go like this. It's kind of strange with the left-handed to right-handed thing. However, um, so when you're in this kind of a scenario with, say, my weak is on his strong, he could basically trap my blade and immediately attack me. However, if he fails to do so, right, in that time, right, so as he begins to move, I can go like this and cover that line. So. The ability, like the the good aspect of having your weak on the opponent's strong is you can move your weak very quickly and if you can avoid their uh, attempt at a mutiran or their attempt to control your blade, you can very quickly like close off the line as you begin to attack them. But it's actually uh, if your strong is on their weak, you actually have uh, quite a large opportunity, uh, a large window of time in which to trap to trap their blade. So for instance, the scenario we were talking about before, right? If I cut up like this, you get your strong here, right? So go into a thunder. Uh, there you go. Get okay. your hands. You want to make sure that they're off to the side, like towards right, this arm. Like keep it more or less straight, but with a bend in your elbow. But what you really want is your hands to be forward, right? So for instance, look at it like this, right? So if we go into a bind, right? However you want, right? And we're here like this, right? Look at, uh, and if your hands are like really close to your hip, say, right? And we go like this, look at all of the area. Like if you're just pointing your blade, trying to point your blade towards my face, right? 
trees go like this, you see all of the area that I can aim my sword at, it roughly covers here. Now, or if you try to do this, right? So you, you just try to point your sword at different parts of my body, right? You can see how much you can point with, with like minimal effort, right? Now if I push my hands forward from here, now try to do this. See? It really like closes off a lot of that. Um, so as a result, when your hands are forward, it does a lot to control their blade right away. So you don't want to have your hands too far back um, while you're doing while you're doing a um, mutiran technique or while you're doing a technique to trap their blade with your strong. So when you do this, right? Say actually, if you uh, if you cut upwards, okay, and I cut down, right? I'm going to go like this and like that. So. If you do it like a little bit more uh, continuously, right? So the first thing I want to do is actually like make contact with my long edge, my strong up against your weak, or essentially I wanted to make contact with my strong first in order to take the momentum up. So as you do the cut, right? I cut to here, right? And I don't actually want to catch like this because now I can't get my blade in line. So I'm going to make contact about here so that my I can pivot around. So as you cut, okay, make contact about here and turn like that. So we do this again, right? Continuously, right? And you don't want to have much of a gap between. So as you cut, right, it's contact, rotate, right? So you don't want to break this. When you're practicing it, you can break it into two separate things, but you really want to get it into. Uh, you want to practice it enough that it becomes one fluid thing. So if I do this, right? There you go. The key is to get the idea first, right? To get a little bit of the feel first, and then to like dial up the pressure enough so that you can um, start to make it continuous. So. so you want to make sure that you're controlling where I make contact too, because you can move your hands around and control that. You want to get it a little bit ahead of you so that you have more space to play with. Yeah. From here, you want to turn it about there. Yeah. And make sure your hands are low enough too. So. Yeah. Make sure when you're looking to look uh, through through your target, right? Because otherwise, if if you look off to the side or if you look at uh, if you try to focus on my sword. You need to use your periphery to see where my sword is. Ah, not bad, but... Okay. Uh, yeah. So, keep your hands lower. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Drop, drop your hands. So when you get to here, right? drop your hands down, forward, and then turn until, turn just enough so that you're, it's easy to get your blade to point towards my body. Okay, so. It's when you turn your hands that they need to drop. Right, so if you do this to me again, so I cut to here, right? See my hands are high? Drop. That's where the drop happens. So, um, as I cut like this, yeah, turn and drop, yeah, there you go. There you go. See how it kind of makes it a little bit more continuous? So, that's, that's a lot better already. So, hard in the glove and even get that. scenario like this, make sure your hands are high and they're forward and you get the point on line. Right? So actually if you uh, if you cut an overhow to me, right, I need to get like this. And if I miss with the touch, because I need to actually protect myself, then I can finish with the thrust. So you cut to me again, right? But the key is that the hands are high and that they're relatively forward, because if they get too far back like this, see, you'll be able to, with your sword, right, if you're pressing through, right, you'll be able to cut off on. If you go too far off line, then I can start to do this, or, 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 or
do, uh, do the schnappen. But the main thing is that if you're, so if I am in this scenario, and you're actually just pushing this like down towards my head, right, my hands are here, you'll, you'll make contact. So you just want to make sure that they're hot. Right, so they come like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that uh, you're cutting them, it's about how in response. So, yeah, see how, right, you want to yeah, think of where this hand is, make sure it's high enough. You want it to be about at least that much above your head. Right, so. There you go, yeah.